hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so we're going to be talking about how to make money from your side hustle on a cruise ship yes my guy Anywhere you find yourself in, there's always going to be a way or an alternative for you to make extra bucks. And today I'm going to be listing out some of them and letting you guys in on the gist on how people make extra money in cruise ships. So number one, the most um, popular way for people to make money is cutting hair or making hair. So most of the times after work, you are walking down the M1, you see a lot of stands about two three four stands sometimes of guys or men that cut um other guys hair they're into male grooming so they're charging from ten dollars to twenty twenty five or thirty dollars even depending on the kind of haircut so that is one way people make money on cruise ships and also for females we have women that are into hair grooming they can make your hair for you style your hair do whatever and at a particular price which is fairly more expensive than that of the men but if you look at it this way men don't spend as much money but they cut their hair more than women make their hair so a guy can be cutting his hair like once in two weeks and a girl can be making her hair like once in two months do you understand so if you're cutting a guy's hair you're going to make him more money as a barber you're going to make him more money trust me i always tell guys that are going to push you go and learn how to cut hair go and learn how to cut hair because the money that you make is not yell another way people make money working on a cruise ship is by doing laundry some people charge people money to do their laundry for them because most times crew members are tired and they're busy they don't have time to do laundry so you can decide to okay i'm going to be charging you so so and so amount do your laundry for you maybe once in two weeks you go do their laundry or weekly depending on the arrangement that you have with this person and charge from maybe i don't know how much that they charge but i know that there are people that do it so that's another way for you to make laundry <laughs> So that's another way for you to make money by working on a cruise ship um number three is cleaning cleaning the room cleaning the room so if you don't mind this kind of strenuous or hard job this is something that you can definitely go in and the thing about cleaning the room is that it spreads very fast so if you are good and people like you and you're not too expensive you're going to get a lot of clients because people like i said earlier people are busy they don't have time so any extra help or assistance is going to be really really appreciated even if you're charging them so if it's something that you don't really mind doing something you can look into and just make your services known and for you know what is going to spread around really fast and people are going to start contacting you okay yeah another way to make money on a cruise ship is by offering your services to you know finish up people's cbt's by cbt i mean computer-based training so when you join the ship newly or maybe not even newly most times there are always courses that people have to take new courses that are popping up even as you are new as a new seafarer when you come into the ship as a new seafarer we have cbt's of like 50 60 courses yes so people pay people to do this thing for them so if you are you know vast this is not your first or second contract you already know the answers to those things you know where to skip you know where not to skip if you know this is something that you can do you have the time you have the knowledge you can always tell people 15 dollars that one is not even expensive 15 dollars 20 dollars you charge people and you help them to do their CBT, help them to finish it up. If you don't mind. Me, I don't like that CBT. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like it at all. But did I pay for it? No. Are there people that pay for it? Yes. My friend Jessica, when she heard I was doing my CBT, she was like, why don't you just go to the crewmates and find somebody to do it for you? Ah, I'm like, eh? People pay for this. She's like, yeah, I paid. I think I give the guy $30 or something. So that's another way for you to make money on cruise ship if you don't mind people can pay you to do their CBTs for them and just give them a time frame they give you their login passwords and everything you do it for them and you get paid another way for you to make money on the cruise ship is uh, let's say during Kambusa if you don't know what Kambusa is I talked about it in my previous video Kambusa is like a discount sale for crew members so you might want to stock up on the alcohol 
stock up on water and when people run out if they know that you are the plug if they know that you are the plug they will contact you and you can always resell this at a slightly higher price to them you can't do too much because i mean <laughs> these things are not even expensive anyway so yeah you can do that another way people make money is by send helping people send money home so some people have issues with their account they have issues with their card and they might urgently need to send money home you can always be the go-to person for that charge them a particular percentage just like this would that do mobile money transfer do you understand help them send money to whoever they want to send the money to they will return the money but when they are sending it back to you they will add something on top so that's another way to make money on mobile transfer or sending money for people and they just you charge them like a little token for helping them to do that but the most in my own department <laughs> the easiest way to make money on is selling your ipm yes selling your ipm what's ipm ipm means import money and if you're ipm that means you cannot go out to the ports or to the out in the city on the days that the ship is at the port you have to stay on the ship so you can sell your port days days that you have access to going out you can sell it to somebody and decide to cover the person's ipm by staying back on the ship and this selling is not even cheap i'm talking about 30 dollars to 50 dollars i know somebody that charges 50 60 sometimes depending on the type of pot there are different pots with their different prices so when a pot has a shopping center and it's very popular people sell them for higher so like in new zealand now you have tauranga you have Auckland. people cannot be sending that one for 50 dollars you have to pay 60 to 70 dollars adelaide in australia is another good place for shopping people can pay 50 to 60 dollars do you understand so but pots are not so busy they are mellow you can sell for 30 to 40 dollars <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like a serious business. So, if you have been to these places a number of times and they don't even freak you anymore, you don't have to go out. Allow somebody else to go out and cover the person by staying on the ship, and the person will pay you your cool cash. I don't know if it makes sense, but well, it makes sense because I know people are cashing out doing these things. <laughs> so, guys, these are some of the ways people make money on cruise ships and. Um, I would advise you before you come on board, just try to learn a skill. You never know. Money can be coming into your hand. You, know? <laughs> you can make some extra bucks. Money can come into your hand. You know, just things like that. And for IPMs, you don't necessarily have to cover people just in your department. You can cover anybody from any department. So it's not like limited to people in your own department. Another legit way of making money is by doing, um, they call them the ocean view. I don't know. Just if you're on Princess, like the Ocean View, something, something. People that help guests to set up their internet when they embark on the ship. And I think they pay $20 per hour. Yeah, so if you're in a department that is not too busy, you can look this up. Or if you're in retail, you can talk to your manager and it's going to just give you the go ahead and they can sign you up. It's a good way to make money, especially if you are selling at ports that, you know, that you're going to have back-to-back -back pot days instead of just always going out or not doing anything this is another avenue for you to make money and it's a legit way a lot of people know about it so this one the, the cruise line knows about it you don't have to hide anything so most of these other side jobs are like download but this one is legit you can sign up for it and you make your extra do. all right so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this particular topic because i know that you people when I too like money, you guys like money too much. But you like money too much. You like money too much. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So we'll see you again next time.